So I often get asked whether or not a formal education is like the golden ticket into becoming a successful designer. The truth? Let's talk about it. So just to share really quickly my personal journey, I opted to actually go to college for two years. In my first year of college, I pretty much did exactly what I would normally do on a day-to-day -day basis, but mainly being sure that I understood my programs a lot more. However, though, during my sophomore year of school, I actually opted to double up my credits so that way I was in school from 6.45 a.m. and I had a gym class at around 10 or so p.m. It was at an Equinox, by the way. It's expensive. And that was just so I wasn't afraid to ask my mother whether or not I can take a break after that year ends. And funny enough, I, I did just that. And I also got my mom's approval. So in those eight months, my sole focus was networking and studying my niche, which happened to be esports. Now, your niche in this case could actually be sports. It could be music, broadcast, whatever. There are creators within those spaces that have a general understanding of each other. And in turn, some may even look out for one another. So again, my mission was to study my niche, networking and producing content regularly, but also also, of course, just making sure I understood my programs. And like the quick reminder for this segment is just to quite literally just never be complacent on whether or not you go this direction or that direction. Art is a, is a, is a, disi it's a disciplined place, okay? You're not gonna escape it, no matter what. Now, despite my personal path, there are like undeniable positive factors of actually having a formal education. The way I see it, school molds you to defend, understand, and articulate your narratives. And that last bit actually being the most invaluable advice when it comes to actually entering the professional world. And I'm not just talking about standing up in front of your classmates and just like, it's kind of hard to talk and you feel weird, everyone's looking at you. We're not talking about feeling uncomfortable. Being able to present your creative and have to showcase your ideas that have to be solid, like without sounding confusing, that's the key. Not so much the public speaking part of it. Additionally though, the consistent feedback that you would get from your professor, so that way you're not just like designing something that looks cool, but actually designing stuff that is like very purposeful and effective. I can like recall like 10 years ago from now, how my limited knowledge actually falsely assured me of my professionalism in my craft. I'm in there in Photoshop, like, like dead serious, designing logos and not even knowing the real difference between vector base and pixel based design. And I charge money. Ooh. Where realistically, I might have spent the next six months, like a year, literally self-sabotaging just because of my lack of exposure to the real world of graph design. Arguably, school helps with that just by being able to like consistently seek and absorb new design experiences. Now, for some, without the structures of like grades and classes, maintaining that discipline outside of the classroom is pretty difficult. But that's where no matter whether you're in or out of school, connecting yourself with like-minded forward-seeking individuals is incredibly important. Or just even mentors, they, it keeps you on track. Now, like the opposing side, becoming a self-taught designer. Obviously, something as shiny as saving like your tuition money was a factor, but in my experience, clients' job interviews never really revolved around my educational credentials. It's quite literally all about your portfolio and how you communicate it when it counts. That's literally 80% of securing yourself in the game. Literally. Anyone can go to school and learn fundamentals, just like how anyone self-taught can understand their design programs and create something dope. But where you see improvements and callbacks and like returning interest is being able to tell a story. Better yet, being able to sell a story. Like to even tell if you're there, you can test yourself right now. Go to a recent design or like a branding project and describe what is it that the creative is choosing to represent. If your response is like, it's a clean logo with a bold pattern that represents precision, huh? Clean and bold aren't descriptive words, they're filler. If you ask 10 different people, hey, what's clean or bold to you, you're gonna get 10 different answers. So then my question to you is, is your creative sound? Did you defend it enough? Or even when you created it, did you prepare your narrative? You feel me? Low paying clients want something cool. High position agencies and businesses want to know the why. The why is higher value because you can measure it against a few different things. You can measure it against content, ads, collaborations, events, campaigns, etc. So I I'm done rambling. So is it school or no school? My candid answer? Self-taught designers often excel as technical creatives, mostly because like they navigate the trial and error journey at like a super accelerated pace, honing their skills with a continuous focus approach on like individual projects. This immersion allows them to kind of get a better sense of what resonates as cool in the design world, where designers on the other hand, molded by foam education, such as like universities, emerge as strategic thinkers. They've been sculpted by the challenges of collaborative projects, peer feedback, and their professors breathing down their necks. While they are great at designing with theory in mind, they might not always have the extensive hands-on experience to demonstrate the evolving concept of cool in design. So in other words, it's 50-50. <laughs> 
Whether if you choose the hallowed halls of university or the super challenging terrain of self-taught, what matters most is your passion, dedication, and your thirst for continuous knowledge. You quite literally learn both sides over time, but if something interests you more than the other, then maybe that's what you pursue first. You know what else can help you? I'm, I'm gonna do it. The everything pack. The first link in the description down below, if you guys are new creatives or even seasoned creatives, the, you, <laughs> It's, it's irresistible. Check the first link in the description down below to check it out. You get all of my Cellify products, which is all design products, just basically used to hopefully fill your canvases with greatness and goodness and just help propel your creative a little more. Alongside with that though, you get all of my future Cellify products free email directly to you. Alongside with also, it keeps going, it was just more. Having a Discord community with over like what, 2,100 members of literally active, generally interesting, networking capable, feedback seeking individuals. But with that, Seso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love and peace. I'm, quite, I'm curious, was it school or no school for you?